If you had previously undergone spine surgery and your fresh x-ray is showing that there is a broken screw in your spine or a broken rod or the implant has failed, then what does that mean? Normally what happens, whenever we put implants in a spine, the idea is to stabilize the spine. But somehow, because of the biomechanical failure, the implant that we put within the spine fails. This normally happens before the fusion process has occurred. Fusion process means the process of bone formation. The aim of putting implants in a spine surgery is to stabilize the spine till the time there is fusion. By fusion we mean that the bone which is put with the intention of union between two unstable segments or vertebras in the spine, that process is known as fusion. Normally whenever we do stabilization of the spine, we put screws, rods or cages. In few situations, which happens very rarely, this implant might fail. So your x-ray might show a broken screw or a broken rod. But if at all this happens, then we need to understand the reason behind it. Of course, the first reason is no fusion. That means the bone has not formed between the adjacent vertebras. In that situation, because of the excessive pressure over these implants, the implant might fail. Second is if the implants are not put in the correct manner. Basically, if the implants are not taking the load in a biomechanically desirable way, that could be the second reason. Or thirdly, it could happen because of some accident, trauma or fall. But whatever be the reason, the bottom line is this needs treatment. Because if implant has failed, then again the spine has become unstable. If the spine has become unstable, then of course there are chances of complete failure in the future. And that can happen in the form of pressure coming onto the nerves. So the patient might start getting symptoms again. Symptoms of nerve impingement or pressure over the nerve or symptoms like back pain, radicular pain in the leg, numbness tingling in the leg. In such situation, treatment becomes mandatory. So whenever we plan for a revision spine surgery for implant failure, first thing is we investigate the patient thoroughly. We get a new x-ray done, new MRI done, new CT scan done to see what has actually happened. And once we know the reason, based on that, we take the decision of going ahead with the revision surgery in which normally we replace the broken implants and we focus more on the fusion. By fusion, I mean, if required, we take additional bone from the other bones like iliac crest or from the tibia bone and we put that bone in spine so that fusion or the bone formation happens. Once the bone formation happens, then implants are offloaded. That means the pressure comes off from the implants so that in future there is no implant failure. Now, this is not a very simple process. Normally, revision spine surgery requires more of expertise, use of specialized equipments like microscope, and then we can make the surgery successful. So if you are suffering from spine surgery failure because of implant failure, that means any screw or rod that was put in your spine during the first surgery is broken or is not working well or is loose, then don't worry. See a qualified spine specialist, he will evaluate you properly and he will guide you what next better can be done to make your surgery a successful surgery for the second time. Thank you.